Right, so let's take stock again. We've got a successful prison so far. We haven't yet been able to... Oh, let's check the power situation, actually. Yep, the power's at reasonable levels. The water is doing fine. These cells aren't lit up, but they don't have any guests, so that's fine. Now, for some reason, the guards always come out to the deliveries just to hang around out here. I'm not quite sure why that is. It's a bit weird. Maybe that's where I plonked them when I bought them, so they don't move anywhere away from that. That's a bit weird. Now, at the moment, the canteen is just way too big for what uh, for what we do with it. And that's a bit of a problem because, well, no, it's not a problem. We future-proofed ourselves. We future-proofed the prison because when we do get more prisoners, they're going to need a nice big canteen. But, it, but for the moment, that, that space is largely unused. So what else? We need to hire an accountant to finish the administration center contract. So let's see if we can do that. Now, where are we going? Oh, exceeds daily budget. Well, I'm going to get rid of one of these guards because, to be honest, they're protecting the deliveries bay and we don't need that. So goodbye, guard. Catch you later, dude. Now we'll hit staff, accountant, and, oh, it still exceeds daily budget? I thought we just sacked a guard. I guess we're going to have to sack two. And we'll plunk down an accountant right there. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So we completed one of the to-do lists, and we haven't got anything from it, actually. So that's a bit of a, that's a, bit of a pain, but no worries. Oh, what's this up here? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, I accidentally put down another accountant. Sorry, I'm going to sack you. Man, what a waste of $1,000. Oh, well, never mind. We do have a lot of dollars, so that's not a problem. Now, the warden is still reading, upgrading our health. Oh, and in three minutes, we can hire a psychiatrist as well. Here we go. Right, psychologist. Where are we going to put you, I guess, in the office next here? So we'll put you there. There we go. Psychologist's office. Good stuff. Now, what does that mean? Oh, cash flow is minus 120, though. That's a bit dangerous. Now, let's see. In reports, we should have... Oh, yeah, look at all these. We can check our finances. And we get $100, it seems, per prisoner. And at the moment, we've only got four prisoners. So that's only $400 a day. Plus a grant of $1,500 from the government. And, yeah, we've got lots of guards and administrators that are sucking up those wages. There's no grants for us to accept. What's valuation? All right, that's the valuation of the whole prison in general. And it's worth, ooh, $172,000. That's cool. So what else? Regime, that's fine. Needs, ah, oh, this is an important one, right. So our prisoners have high hygiene needs and high recreation needs and high needs for food. So we'll go into regime, make sure they have more time to shower because they want hygiene. And more time for fun so we'll give them more free time as well and they don't seem to be eating well so we'll give them more eating time as well and um i think that's probably okay we'll give them a bit more yard oh no, no we'll give them more sleep time as well so that they're well rested and there we go that should be fine oh no oh no there's a flood in dana's in dana's cell he's gonna drown if we don't get in there quick and fix that toilet uh, where's the guard? Okay, workman. Come here, you. Now, fix this toilet. Lickety split. Now, he'll need a guard to let him in, so we'll plonk this guard over here. Near the jail door, and he should let him in with his keys. Oh! Ah! So this guy was starting some trouble, was he? Oh, no! He's hit the worker! No! No! Oh no, the worker's having a seizure! Ah, he's freaking out! No, don't freak out, Wally! Okay, he's calmed down, he's calmed down. And Dana is unconscious. I knew this guy was trouble. I knew this guy was trouble. And that's why we gave him a red uniform, because, well, he's serious trouble. So get to sick bay, you. You're sick. And we'll get another guard in there. To look after the situation. And this guard should be able to escort that prisoner to sick bay because he's knocked out. And then this workman, now that the area is safe, can start fixing the bed and the toilet. And, ooh, what am I going to do about the flood in there as well, actually? Should I put a drain in there? It doesn't seem like it's worth it. I think the water should go away of its own accord eventually. 
Oh wow, the the guard just put the prisoner in uh, in his bed, not in the medical bed. Put that prisoner in the medical bed, you lazy bones. Store prisoner in medical bed. Okay, so somebody's coming over to store him in the medical bed, at least. And we've only got, oh, less than six hours, or just about six hours until more prisoners arrive. Now we're getting eight new prisoners, so let's count the cells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cells. So we should be fine when the next prisoners arrive. Actually, that's a point. Aren't we supposed to be receiving a prisoner transfer from Stjin Isa Joker? Let's take a look. S. Where's S? Q R. H I. J. Here he is, Stjin Isa Joker. Now, this guy is supposed to be transferred to our prison. I'm not sure why he isn't, but here we go. Special transfers, Stjin Joker. He should be coming along with the other prisoners in just under six hours. Right, so I should read the CEO's letter. Where is that? Where is the CEO's letter? Here it is. And we've read this before. So we can delete it. And what else? Prisoner intake, that's fine. Contract. Cell block A. Raise your prisoner capacity. Well, that's a good idea because we've got nothing else to do right now. It is night, but we might as well, while the iron is hot, build some more cells. So let's plan this out with the planning tool. One, two, three blocks away from the other building. And if we build something like that, with a wall there, now that creates, yeah, that's the perfect size for an extra cell. So we'll just, oh. Plan out these cells like this. And we want a load of cells. So we'll make a nice big room. A nice big building. There we go. That looks perfect. And then we'll build a wall down the middle. And there we go. We've got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times 2. 18 extra cells. So we'll get the foundations tool. And we'll build a nice big set of foundations to encompass all of those. And we'll put the walls down afterwards. And each cell is going to need an entrance as well. So we'll have a lot of doors on our hands. But it should be worth it in the end. Meanwhile, oh my god, Daster is back and he's punching his bed. That's right, Dana. You punch that bed. You're locked in your cell, your toilet's flooding, and all you want to do is punch your bed. It's, I'll tell you what I need, guys. I need an execution chamber so I can just get rid of some of these troubled uh, troubled individuals. Maybe if we just executed Dana, we could get him out of our prison and out of our hair. So let's see. Execution room where you send your prisoners to die. I think we need one of these guys. And we'll put it right behind the shower. Now, what are the requirements for an execution room? Indoors, and it has to have an electric chair. Okay. So we'll make a foundation room the same size as the shower. There we go. Now, this will be the execution chamber. Oh, yeah. I'm already getting quite excited for this building. Uh, that seems about right. And so once the Wally workers have finished building this, they'll build that. I'll go to planning first, actually, and erase all this planning we did here. There we go. Now, it's going to take these workers a long time to put down the bricks and mortar and steel girders for this foundation. Oh, man. The guards still haven't come to take Dana away. It's a bit worrying, actually. I think once we get more prisons, we'll be able to afford enough guards to properly run our prison. But at the moment, we're on a shoestring budget. And we can't really afford all the guards that we actually need. Oh! Sounds like there's an accident. Action. Uh, oh, I don't know. What, why have you got your truncheon out, guard? Put it away. Put it away. Is he going to... What's he going to do? Is he going to open the jail door? Uh-oh. Dana's raised his fists. He's ready for a fight. Oh, here we go. Ding, ding, ding. Round one. Uh, They're both kind of waiting at the door. Who's going to make the first move? I, 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 I don't... No, nobody? I, 
Maybe Dane just wet himself. Maybe he's just having a nightmare. Maybe he's sleepwalking. He's had a nightmare. He sat in the, he sat in the toilet. He wet himself and his bed. That's why he's breaking the bed because he's embarrassed himself for wetting the bed. Is this guard going to deal with this guy? Let's just move him over here. Open the door and get in there, guard. Go on, get in there. Why aren't you getting in there, guard? He's, he's not moving. Why isn't the guard moving? Come on. Well, that's a weird situation. But in the meantime, it looks like the foundations have been completed for our prison cells over here. So we can start putting the doors in. Now we'll need jail doors and we'll just put them... at even intervals. With two blocks between them. And that should give us, yep, that should be the exact right amount for the cells. Then we'll put a wall in the middle and we'll build the other cells and then we'll put the walls in at either side. Oh man, we've still got a deadlock here between Dana and guard Jeff. Come on, Jeff, get in there, sort that guy out. We need to fix that bed. You, you know what, I'm just gonna build this execution chamber and fry his ass. I'm sorry, Dana. But you've been too much trouble and you're going straight to the chair. Objects. A jail door. For... We'll make it a large jail door actually because that'll look cooler. And then once this jail door's in place we can put down a floor and make an execution chamber. Oh yeah. Oh, oh fight on. Oh yeah. The guards have gone in there and dealt with Dana. Now take his ass to the medical bay ASAP. What were you doing? Now get in there. Pick him up. Oh my god, this guy's got a horrible cell. Look, he's on half health. He's unconscious. His bed's broken. His toilet's broken. There's water everywhere. There's blood everywhere. No wonder he's having a tough time. Meanwhile, these guys are sleeping like a couple of babbies. Sound asleep. Susak can't sleep. He's bored. Why are you bored? You need recreation. Just go to sleep. It's like five in the morning, dude. Come on. This guard's injured. Get to med bay. Sort yourself out. This guard could come down here, actually, and mind the, uh... Oh, yeah, finally, finally, Dana is being taken to the... He's being taken to the medical ward. Let's see if we can make the medical ward an actual medical ward yet. Oh, yes! Infirmary has been unlocked. Sweet. So we'll drag this over here. And hey, presto. Grant completed. We have a medical ward. Yay! We should put down some sn some snazzy floors, actually. Let's go into materials. And I like wooden floors, actually. They're, they're easy to clean. So, oh, actually, they're not easy to clean, are they? We'll put, we'll put down tiles for the infirmary, I think. That's probably the safest bet. There we go. And we'll need parving to hook up these extra buildings that we've just built. So that'll go along there, that, there like that. And that'll come down there like that and hook up with the other pavements. And we can put grass along the outside of the buildings in a little bit. But for the time being, we'll just stick with what we've got. Now, there's no power in the storage room. Do we need power in the storage room? Well, probably not, because they've already started to store stuff here. So, you know, we'll just leave it. They can't see what they're doing, but these wallies don't really need to see what they're doing. They're that good at what they do. We'll put down jail doors along the opposite sides of these cells. Just keep it symmetrical. That way we know we'll get the spacing correct and we'll get the right amount of jail doors for the cells. Uh-oh, prisoners arriving in two hours. Oh, that's gonna, that's quicker than I thought, actually. So what do we need for when they arrive? Let's see. We'll probably need some more guards, but as soon as they arrive, we'll get more cash flow so we can plonk down some guards ASAP. We've got extra cells so we can house all these dudes. And, oh, we're getting our special guest, Stin Isa Joker, as well. That's going to be exciting. We've got one more office here, and our warden isn't doing any reading, so we should get him reading something. Now, what can he do? Maintenance unlocks the foreman. I think we want to do that because I'm tired of my place looking like a crap hole with cracks appearing everywhere. So we need to learn maintenance and then groundskeeping and cleaning. Because cleaning unlocks the janitor, he will clean the indoor areas 
of your prison, and groundskeeping unlocks the gardener. He will keep the outdoor areas tidy. Okay, those are the two important roles we have in our prison because Peach Palm Blossoms excels on, on keeping itself a, a high, high hygiene, high maintenance, very pretty prison. I mean, you can see by this cell here, this is paradise right here. Cracks in the floor, blood up the walls, shit-stained toilets, a bed that's almost broken, an <laughs> unconscious prisoner in the bed. This is paradise right here. This is living the life. James Dana is living it up, living the life of a high society prisoner. I think if he could give prisons a rating, he would give Peach Palm Blossoms a minus five. It's, it's that bad. Right, those doors are going in place. The prisoners should arrive soon, so we'll need to get the guards over to the deliveries area to welcome them in. One hour and ten minutes until they arrive. Good stuff. And our last grant is for the cell block A. And that's what this is going to be, because we'll up our prisoner capacity by ooh, at least 18. This prisoner's being transferred to the medical bay. God, James Dana, you are a real menace. As soon as I get... Oh, oh, this building has been completed, guys. Oh, exciting times. So it's time to put down an electric chair. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to fry his ass. Now, where is the electric chair? Here it is. Oh, oh, yeah. James Dana, your time has come. Now, where's materials? Ooh. We're going to need white tiles for my execution chamber, I think. Oh, and it's going to need power as well, actually. And probably a lot of power. Oh, action, action. Oh, there's a fight in the shower. Naked bumming adventures have, have gotten way out of control. And, oh, no. They're trying to rip the guard into the into the action. Susak is running for it because he doesn't want any part of this. He's hiding in his bed and he's going to sleep. And the guards have subdued the... Oh, no, but that needs to be repaired. Where are these punches coming from? I can hear punches. Oh, no, it's Dana. Dana's on, Dana's on the loose. Somebody stop that man. Stop that Dana. What's he doing? James Dana, he needs sleep, food, hygiene, comfort, defense, family, and recreation. Well, these, these guys are being escorted back to their cells. I think that's the wrong move, though. They should put... Wait, what? There's two guys in this cell. Guard. Guard, take this guy to the med bay. Jeez. Is he going to take him to the med bay? Yeah, store in the medical bay. That's right. Get out of here. Oh, and James Dana's going for a shower. Oh, you having fun there, James? Yeah? Is it nice and refreshing? I think you can hear him whistling and scrubbing. Ew. Meanwhile, we have to go into utilities to hook up the electric chair to the power. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoops. Slightly wrong. We'll bring it over from the cell blocks, I think. And that's a good point, actually. The cell blocks will need power as well. So we'll bring it over from the medical bay, I think. And just bring that wire right down the middle of the cell block. Now, we're in no rush to get this cell block completed. And the way workers get stuck when you build a lot of walls means I think we should probably take our time with it. And um, not risk the workers getting too stuck. Now, ooh! Prisoners are arriving! Right, where are they? Where's the bus? Where's the There they are! Okay, guys, let's see who these prisoners are. And as soon as they arrive, we'll call it there. We have John Headland, sentenced to nine years for assault. He's just a stock prisoner, I think. Oh, the star guest, Stin Ice, a Joker. Now I'm, I'm slightly, slightly tanned skin. Stin Ice, two Jokers, one a scientist and the other a crazy dude from Sweden. How believed in magic? After the two murders, he lived happily in his compound with more diamonds than David Crockett. His boss reported him, which was Sips, I think, in a year after the incident. Okay, well. Welcome. Welcome to the party, pal. Dan Mundy, six years for assault, just another stock prisoner. Ah, Richard Welch, sentenced to six years for multiple crimes, including possession, drunk disorderly behaviour, and possession intent to supply. Ooh. Alex Widley, seven years for robbery. Mark Ockwitchime, 12 years for manslaughter. Ian Turner, four years for possession. And Duncan Nightingale, six years for false... Wait, what? False imprisonment? Well, I'm sure he's meant to be here, so let's get the game back underway. And welcome these jokers to Peach Palm Blossoms. Our second cell block is well underway. As soon as the cable's in, we can start building the walls and put down the objects that the cell block needs to become a proper cell block. And our execution chamber is almost finished as well. 
And as soon as that's in place, we can start frying our prisoners. Oh, yeah. Rubbing, rubbing my hands together in excitement for that. That's going to be awesome. Now, Pierre needs to get into storage. Oh, no. Pierre. Pierre needs to get his eggs. Oh, Monsieur Sin, I cannot get to my eggs. I need to cook omelets for the prisoners and I cannot get the eggs. Oh, this is a nightmare. Why did you put a prison, prison door here instead of a normal door? The prisoners, they cannot start a fight with eggs or with food trays. Actually, they can, Pierre. They can start a fight with food trays. So I've been Stin, and this has been Peach Palm Blossoms for Prison Architect, available on Steam. So I'll join you guys next time when we finish off, hopefully, our second cell block, and we start frying prisoners, and fingers crossed, getting a little bit more order in this place. We'll put down some more guards to escort these prisoners to their places, and, uh, and everything should be okay in Peach Palm Blossoms. We've had a rough start, a rocky start, but I think the future, the future is bright for Peach Palm Blossoms. We've future-proofed ourselves with the canteen in the kitchen. So I think uh, I think we'll be doing okay. So I've been Stin. Thanks for watching. Hit like and favorite and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.